there are four methods on being able to level up fast, or rather level up in general. Whether or not it's fast will depend on you solely. So, let's just see what you can actually achieve once you level up. When you level up, you unlock the entire tech tree rows. Everything within its own level uh, will have whatever it has to offer right so this whole entire thing is filled out all of it blah 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 except for this i don't know what that is yeah, that might be the crisp but i already have a crisp so that's kind of weird um but yeah so you have everything at your disposal per level so how do you do that well let's get into it really quickly the first one is being able to tweak the EXP rating, right? Your experience rate w is found within the world settings. You can change it to whatever you want to do, but by default, it is at 1. Now, I don't really recommend tweaking this at all. I mean, you can make it more challenging, sure, but if you make it more easier, you're going to blow through all the levels, and it's going to be really satisfying, right? But then you're going to miss out on a lot of core fundamentals that the game has to offer, okay? So, the next part, number 2, or... Yeah, number two will actually showcase how we can get over this whole this whole little hill on being able to manipulate the XP rates, right? We're going to keep it at one, and I'm going to show you guys what you can do next. For number two, here we go. Alright, so for the second one, there is a method known as AFK XP farming. So right now we're not getting anything because these guys need to be all awake. So what you can do is tweak the settings once again, change everything... To have a maximum, a very slow day drain rate while nighttime goes by very fast. So these guys technically are working 24-7. Now, once these guys get upstairs into the ranch, we're going to see our XP counter go up very slowly. Right, this number is going to be draining slowly. You see 2 and then 1. Blah, blah, blah. It's going to be draining very slowly. Or rather, it's going to be gaining very slowly. And the reason why is because with every single one experience gain, it's either from a crop being harvested slash planted it's either from uh, f one of the items being transported into a chest okay these guys all are pooping out certain things in their ranches and that gives us a yield okay and one yield equals one xp so that is the second method this is known as afk training and what you just do is just afk Turn on the PC, load up the game, and go to a base that has crop fields and ranches so that you have a continuous amount of yield happening to you. And you have to stay inside the base radius, okay? Inside this whole circular thing, alright? Good. What are you doing, buddy? Okay, number three. Number three and four kind of share the same thing, more or less. Same, same tip. But you go into your power deck. And you look at all of these pals. Everyone's heard this before, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clarify why it's so important. Okay, what the secret, secret recipe here is. Okay, so you see this capture bonus. It's not when you reach twelve you get the bonus. It's every single pal leading up to your twelfth one will generate you a fat chunk of experience. Now we're gonna test it out. So, pal duck, lamble, chickpea, and kativa all already filled out. Okay, so we're gonna go capture one or two, and we're gonna see why, or rather how much XP we get. It should be right here. Mm -hmm. So we got a chicken, we're gonna use a green ball. Okay, I missed. There we go. Watch, we're gonna get like 20 XP, maybe 10, 30. We got eight. Yeah, we didn't even get it. It did not even get close. Let's see if it's the same for these guys. Okay, yes, we got 8 again. What about these guys? So these guys are also 20, 12 rather. So we're gonna go take a gander at a pal that we have not caught, such as these tansies. I don't believe I've taken them at all. Oh, hang on, we owe the T-Reef ones as well. So these guys are all at 6. Watch how much experience we get from a pal that is not one of our 12. Leading up to the 12, we get 9. 9,000 experience! You see how much that is? Compared to the measly 10? Not even 10. Come back here. Now, it is unfortunate that you have to, in fact, you know, catch them and whatnot. Boom! 9,000 experience again! You see where I'm getting it? The XP goes up significantly fast. And what you gotta do is just test out, take a gander, 
see what pals you have to take and what cow pals you don't have to take. Right, these guys. I don't think I caught 12 of them. Yeah, so why you got 10 more pals, all at what? A 9,000 XP rate per. So the remaining ones, we should have 9k, 8.9k, something like that. So we got 9k. So now we have 9 more times 9,000 experience equals 81,000 experience. From capturing the entire 12 pals, well, technically the remaining 12 pals of the Tieflings, we get 90k. You see what you see what happens here? And then you, you you do this for all of the pals in the pal deck. Now, obviously, once you get into the higher regions of the game, it's going to get significantly more difficult. Okay, especially when you get to, eh, I'd say maybe, uh, where are we going at? These guys, the grass ones, the robin quills, they're kind of tough. The goriats, they're kind of tough. So that's why I tell you, I recommend to you not to tweak your XP setting. Because the pals are going to hit hard. You're not going to have the ability, or rather the resources needed to craft these armors, these items, these weaponry. Because you, you level up fast, sure, but leveling up does not coincide with the amount of resource gain that you get, right? It unlocks things, sure. It opens up doors, but, are, are, you know, are, are these are these doors the equivalent of you, you know, getting the materials and stuff? No. Ooh, what are you? I will gladly take that, thank you. But you get the you get the idea. So that's why you should always use this this little analysis thing. So these guys are also captured. But well, these guys, these guys are also captured. And you just do that nonstop. Right? The bosses. If you don't want to check them in the power deck, you can check them manually, right? I don't even know where they are. I'm pretty sure they're back here. So we got the Wumpo Butans. Yes, yeah, so we captured four of them. We have eight more of the capture bonus, and one of them gives us 14,000 experience, right? So, so you get the idea how we can get so much experience in such a short amount of time. You just go around the map, boom, 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 capturing them all. Now let's get into the fourth one. The fourth one is literally the same thing, okay? You capture the alpha world bosses of these individual pals at the maximum of 12 pals, okay? You want, you want to use up those capture amounts, here, the captured requirements, so to speak, the captured, you know, open meter, so to speak. We have eight more of these Wumpa Bottoms we can capture. We can either capture them at the boss location, which is right here where we are. You don't see it highlighted, but that's where the boss alpha boss is. Or you can capture them at the Wildlife Sanctuary. Now here's the kicker. Wildlife Sanctuary gives you a significantly less amount of experience versus the boss. So we're going to go test it out. Alright, so here we are. I forgot to equip fire weapons, but whatever. Gonna take a bit of time to take this guy down. Slow and steady wins the race. Alright, here we go. Back bonus. Let's hope that this works because I'm running out of ammo. Alright, gonna take a bit of time then. There we go. Right on the noggin. Let's see what we get. We're gonna get 14k XP and then we're gonna go over to the wildlife and then we're gonna watch how much XP we get there. Hopefully it's a little bit different. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that one gave us 18,000? Wow! Pretty good. And this is where the other one is. This is where Wumpo Bontan is. The coordinates are, I guess, six, negative six, six, five, one, thirteen, negative one, thirteen. And then we just get our butts over there. Just avoid getting spotted by the PIDF. Very nice. Look at that damage. Significantly different, or rather, I might even be able to get away with a water ball. Oops. Okay, that took a lot of health out of me. Okay, let's hope that this works. We're gonna see how much XP we get. And voila. And we get 10k XP. You see, you saw it here, folks. And we got a beautiful, beautiful Serenity. Uh oh. Well, you get the idea now. You get the idea. Please give me a pal that I do not have. So you get the idea why you get more XP, right? Right? People, people of the earth, and or power world. That's why I, it's imperative to take down the alphas because once you don't, once you run out, ooh. oh, I already have that. Once you already have, um, hang on. Yeah, once you already, once you already have completed the whole twelve pals, <laughs> you don't get a bonus. You don't get a fat chunk of XP anymore, right? And I mean, it is, it is, it is true that you take these guys down significantly faster than the alpha. Remember how we were doing like 20 damage to the freaking alpha? In this one, we like obliterated it. Uh oh. Okay, I hope I, did, I, I captured that at the very least. 
It's not an alpha for XP, like 9,000 XP difference is pretty freaking massive, right? But, um, it still does, it, it still gives me XP, regardless. So you, this is why I said, you be the deciding factor. If you want to get the maximum amount of XP possible, you know, just take down the alphas. This goes for every single one of the alphas. Every single one of them. Sad to say, but it is what it is. Alright, that's about it guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. My name is Jess. Please like, comment, subscribe. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace!